Hey everyone, Kira here. I am the host of Motivational Monday and I have a slight little message before we get to the recording that's gonna be in that part of the video. The quality of the content, mwah, perfection. I'm very, very proud of the creation. However, I live in Western North Carolina where a significant amount of the damage with Hurricane Helene happened. I've been without power, I've been without cell service, I've been out without water, and it all came back the day before Motivational Monday. However, my cell service and my internet has still been so wild because they've been working on the tower. So, just so you know, moving forward, the video quality is going to be better. However, we're doing the best we can with what we've got. And I am a big believer in progress over perfection. So next week, it'll be even better. You'll be getting me from this little spot right here. And we will be focusing on our healthy habits for our financial well-being. So I look forward to seeing you all there. And stay tuned for the rest of the recording where you get to learn about the habit loop and building healthy habits and everything along those lines. I hope you have a beautiful day and I best be seeing you next Monday. Okay. Catch you on the other side. Welcome to our Life Guides Connect Motivational Monday. My name is Kira. I'm your host. And I would love if you guys can drop it in the chat. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I personally love to see how big and wide of a net that we've cast of people tuning in and, and who we have and where we're all coming in from. Um, I'm really excited for those of you. I'm curious. Have, drop 111 in the chat if you've used Life Guides before as a service with our guides. And drop 222 in the chat if you're new here or if you're like I've just been seeing your emails and there I know there's something new going on and I want to be a part of it oh cool look at how many newbies we have this is fun okay I'm gonna see where we're tuning in from because this is one of my favorite parts we've got Tucson Arizona Alexandria Virginia I love Alexandria Yakima Washington Ogden Utah Pennsylvania, Arizona, Texas. We got a lot of Arizona in the house that's what I love to see we got Iowa California Cool. Okay. We have a lot of people who are brand new and a lot of people who have also been here before. So I'll give you guys a little bit of information about what Life Guides is, and then we're just going to drop right in. So Life Guides itself is an employee benefit that your company has paid for, for you to be able to utilize for free. So it's peer-to-peer -peer support to help you go through life as a whole. Also, this is my dog, Mac. He's a little cutie. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, he can't not be introduced. So with Life Guides, you have this beautiful benefit that is available to you free where it's not necessarily therapy and it's a lot more accessible and, a lot, and it's a lot easier to use. So Life Guides, what you do is you log on to app.lifeguides.com. You register. If you guys aren't registered, I would highly suggest getting registered. And what happens from there is you get to see our 12 main topics of support. You get to select those topics and it'll give you subtopics. You select the subtopics. And then from there, it gives you all of these guides who can help you navigate the things that you're navigating in your life. Whether it's you want someone to help you with accountability, a well-being action plan, you're going through some grief, you are looking for support with your health and your fitness. These are people who have been through similar life situations as you, whether it's a divorce or having a baby or moving to a new city or you just lost a friend. And they they are able to help you get to where you want to go. They've already been through the things that you're going through. And instead of you having to go through it alone, instead of you having to fall down and pick yourself up and make all of these mistakes and go through life and not have any guidance, you have guidance and you have support. And that's what Life Guides is. I have actually two guides with Life Guides and my life has transformed tremendously. And I already love help. I already love support. I already love being resourced. I've got mentors and coaches and all the things, but having a guide and just a person there to help you navigate your life is really beautiful because life is amazing and beautiful, but it can also be hard. And we're a social species. We're, we're meant to be surrounded by so many other people. So with that being said, that's Life Guides. We're not going to go too much deeper into it because all of you are here for Motivational Monday. So this is our first Motivational Monday. We're doing it throughout the remainder of the year. Who knows what happens in 2025? It depends on your feedback, your support, how you're liking it. We have only the schedule for October solidified right now. So as we continue on, I'm going to be your host throughout the entire Motivational Monday. As we continue on, you do get a survey in your email where, and it pops up right after the Zoom ends, where you can literally be like, I want to learn about this, Kira. 
and we can learn about it. So anything that has interest you, drop it in that feedback and then we can create this together. Motivational Monday is meant to be this space where you can come check in every Monday and have a space where you're learning and growing and putting good wisdom into your mind that's easy to absorb and a really quick hitter. My intention with whatever I teach you during Motivational Monday is to have it be something that ripples throughout your week. So I don't want this to just be 15 minutes where you're just like, cool, I'm here for 15 minutes, that's it. A lot of the things I'll be sharing are things that are actually going to get your mind working and get you thinking and get your brain tinkering along in maybe some new ways. Some of these things might be new to you. Some of them you might already know. So with all of that being said, the first thing that I am doing... <laughs> is we're diving into habit formation. And the reason why we chose to do habits as our first topic for Motivational Monday is because we wanted to create a space where you had the ability to have the conscious awareness of developing habits and what that looks like in your life. And for us, our intention is for Motivational Monday to be a habit in your life. So you'll see the ways that we've used the habit loop. And I'll teach you that. I got, I've got screen shares to show you. I've got videos we got the whole thing and yes this is only like fifth this one will be 20 minutes we'll end at 11 50 usually it'll be closer to 15 but we needed a little intro right so with all of that being said i am a big believer in habits i know how they work in our bodies and i'm here to teach you that so one of the things that actually i'm curious drop 333 in the chat if you've done any work with habits or have studied habits in any way um or anything along those lines i'm really curious Okay, Tiara, Maisha. Ooh, we got cool names in here. Renee, Beloved Star. Yes, Atomic Habits, Ben Eden. Okay, we got we got people who know habits. Beautiful. Okay. So when I started doing habit work, one of the first things that really solidified for me was this knowing and this realization that we are habitual creatures. Some people are like, I don't have any habits. Everything you do is a habit. Breathing is a habit. Your heart beating is a habit. You waking up and checking your phone first thing in the morning is a habit. But you picking up a specific pen is a habit. Everything we do is a habit. So first and foremost, you are uniquely created to build habits. That's the way that your body will naturally default. And that's the reason why we default to old habits. We default to things that we've previously done. But sometimes, and drop 444 in the chat if you feel this, you have a habit that you don't like and you judge yourself for it and you shame yourself for it. And you're like, oh, I just want to go work out. But like this bag of chips is so good right now. Or like my taco lady down the street, I must get tacos every day when really maybe it might be better for you to be cooking your own dinner <laughs> on a regular basis. I feel like for me, when I started learning about habits, look at how cute he is. This is ridiculous. When I first started learning about habits, I came to the realization of, oh my gosh, I don't have to shame myself anymore. Because the realization that we are habitual creatures and that we have the ability to change habits allowed me to see that I'm only doing those things because it's habit. I'm not doing those things because I want to. I'm just doing those things because that's the easiest way that my brain and my body knows how to do things. So when we start diving into neural pathways and the way that the brain actually forms neural pathways, which the neural pathways are basically the information centers of our brains that we get to develop on our own that are built through habit. So when our body is developing a new neural pathway, it takes time. And I'll show you guys a video of what a neural pathway looks like and what that looks like in your brain. But neural pathways take time to actually connect and start firing off those signals of this is a habit. Drop 555 in the chat if you've, if you've ever built a healthy habit and you were like, you got to a point where it just became second nature, but it took time to get there, right? That's because the neural pathways were taking time to develop in your brain. And the neural pathway that you have had for the longest, the, habit that, the habits that you've had from a child, those are going to be the strongest and the most developed ones. So undo it, untangling all of that and then rewiring it a new way, it takes some time, right? So I'm going to share my screen. This video doesn't have sound, so I'll walk you through a little of it with my voice. Okay, so you can see... The neurite right there, I don't, I don't know all of these definitive terms, but you can see that the brain is, is writing new pathways and is coming into growth and development here. 
Now, if you follow this dot here, you see those two neural pathways connecting right at that triangle. That is now a fully formed neural pathway of information being sent to the brain. And you can see here, again, new neural pathways forming and new growth happening. So when we're starting to develop new habits, it takes time. And our, that was actually very sped up. It doesn't happen in seconds. It happens in like days, weeks, months, and it happens through repetition. So when you're going, when you're developing a new habit, it's really easy to get down on ourselves for not, for sticking to it for maybe three days and then dropping off. And sometimes we drop off and we stay off. And that's the worst thing that you want to do. Um, or sometimes we drop off and we judge ourselves. And that's the second worst thing that we want to do. The easiest thing to do is to realize, okay, I'm developing a habit. And that's why I love the visual of the neural pathways forming. Because you could see that it was, it was forming like downwards. And then it connected in its own way up to the other neural pathway. And it was able to be strengthened, right? It takes time you're going to fall off. I promise you the habit that you want to build today that you're sitting here and you're like, I want to do this. You are going to start developing it and you're going to fall off. It's not about how many times you fall down. It's about how many times you pick yourself back up. I feel personally that I develop stronger habits within myself when I fall down. And when I remind myself of where I want to go and I pick myself back up, it's not in the days when it's easy that I have the easiest times. It's in the days that it's a little bit harder and I choose to do it anyway. So we have the habit loop, which I love. And I'm going to show you guys here. So the way that habits work are really, really simple. There's a great book, and I'm actually going to drop it in the chat for you all. In The Power of Habit, Charles Duhigg talks about the habit loop, the cue, routine, and reward. So the way that habits work is that there's a cue, there's something that kicks in the brain in automatic mode, which tells us which habit to use. So there's this specific thing, whether it's your alarm going off or whether it's getting in your car or whether it's getting in the shower or coming home from work, there's some sort of cue that tells your brain to do the routine. So it's the physical, mental, or emotional response. Um, and we can have very much emotional routines. If you are very triggered by a certain friend in your life and they start complaining about something, your emotional routine might be to just be overwhelmed and like get away from them. That's also a habit. And then there's the reward, which is the prize telling your brain that this loop is worth remembering in the future. So whatever the reward is, say that it's waking up in the morning, your alarm goes off. The first thing you do, the cue is the alarm goes off, right? Your routine is you grab your phone and you start scrolling. And the reward is your brain getting that tiny little hit of, hit of dopamine saying this habit loop is worth remembering in the future. So there are, every habit has a cue, a routine, and a, a reward. And they're not always tangible rewards. Like obviously your stomach rumbles, you go search for food, you eat, and you're satisfied. That's a reward as well. The cue is your stomach rumbles, the routine is you eat, and the reward is satisfaction. But what if your cue is that you get hungry, your routine is that you go to junk food, and then the reward is that you're satiated. But you want to change that routine into something healthier, the cue, you can develop new cues at all times, but the cue is, is going to stay the same, but it's the routine that we're going to change. And I've got also another chart that's going to show you all that. But I'm curious, what are some cues and routines and rewards that you see in your life? I noticed that when, and this was years ago, but when I was like, oh, I should probably floss my teeth more, right? I was brushing my teeth right before bed, but I was like way too tired for flossing. So now when I come downstairs and I put my phone on airplane mode for the last hour of my evening, that's when I brush my teeth and floss my teeth and I'm not too tired for it. And I have that reward of knowing that I'm taking care of my dental hygiene. Super easy, super. And it was a really easy habit to change as well. And it was a habit that I already had of brushing my teeth that I could add another habit onto. So if you guys have some habits that you'd like to change or some that you're like, I'm really good at this, whether it's a rising routine or your evening routine or something in the middle of your day, maybe it's working out, maybe it's meal prepping, whatever. Obviously, all the suggestions are really relatable to me. That's why they're coming out of my mouth. But if you have any that you'd like to share in the chat, please do. So when we're starting to change our habits, 
I'm going to show you one last chart that's going to help you see how to start making some change. And again, these motivational Mondays are going to build on each other. You're not getting all the information about habits right now. This is like a very drop in information where you're able to, to start to think in your mind and to see these things and to have these conversations with yourself of like, oh, and some of you might not even be aware of the habits that you have yet. So this is the point where we start to develop the awareness of what our habits are. So you get to one, pick the cue for whatever habit you are looking to develop, um, which is for this one, we're going to use the gym. What will remind you to go to the gym? You can leave your running shoes by the door. You can set your alarm an hour earlier. Or you can find an exercise buddy. You don't need all of these to, to have a healthier habit with going to the gym. But the more cues you test out, the faster you'll find one that works. So the call to action and the assignment that I have for you all throughout the week is pick a habit that's going to be easy for you. And I'm telling you, pick one habit. Do not try to overhaul your life in one day. It's not going to work and you're going to end up overwhelmed and you're going to fall off and none of it is going to develop into a habit. So pick one thing that's accessible for you and start to develop what that cue is. For me, when I started to wake up earlier and go to the gym, I would play my phone in airplane mode in my bathroom. This is how my, this is how all of my habits work in the morning. I wake up, I go, I turn off my alarm, my phone stays on airplane mode. I already have my workout clothes set right by my phone. So I change into my workout clothes, I brush my teeth, and then I go and do my journaling, and then I head off to the gym. So I don't even have an option. One, I have to get out of bed to turn my alarm off. That was a huge life hack for me. And the second one is I already have my clothes already picked out, so I can't even get back into the bed and cuddle with my dog. The next thing you're going to do is choose the reward. So what motivates you? Maybe it's a piece of chocolate and maybe it does have to be something really, really tangible for you. I've had, I've had to develop habits where if I don't do the habit, I Venmo someone $5 and $5 is, um, isn't a big amount. And at first you're like, oh, it's just $5. I'm cool with not doing the habit. But when it's five weeks straight and you keep sending your friend money for you not doing the things that you said that you were going to, it gets kind of annoying. And you're like, okay, well, I want to undo that. So you, it can be a positive reward or it can be a, a negative reward as well in the ways of like what happens when you don't do the habit. So that was really helpful for me too. But maybe it's a piece of chocolate. Maybe you get a half hour on Facebook. Maybe you get to watch an episode of Nashville. I have no idea. And then ask yourself, do I actually enjoy this reward? If you don't, choose a new reward. If you do, um, ask yourself if you crave this reward when you are exposed to the cue of wanting to work out. And then after that, you get to execute on your routine. So your cue reminds you of your routine. Your reward motivates you. And now you get to ex execute. So you get one of the easiest ways that I have found to do anything is to do things in writing. So they, they say that studies show the best way to implement a resolution is to write it down as a formula. So you can do this week. This is a great formula for you. This week when I see blank whatever your cue is I will blank in order to get blank and you can post this claim where you can see it and that is even going to be even more of a habit and a cue so that every time you see it you start doing the thing that you said that you were going to do so that's a little bit of our habit work for this week. Really simple, really basic. I just wanted you guys to see the habit loop and start going about your days, noticing your cues, noticing your routines and noticing the reward that you get from it. And then from there, that's where change starts to be able to be made. But change is not able to be made without awareness. So this week is about awareness. It's about developing the habits within yourself to even notice what your habits are, right? But here's what we have going on for the rest of the week as well. We have our Connect event happening on Wednesday. We're doing a whole financial series throughout the end of the year, really developing healthy financial habits. So everything that we're doing within Motivational Monday is going to lead into our Connect events. Connect event is the second month, the second Wednesday of every month. And the remaining the remainder of the year is going to be all around finances. One of the things that we really sat down and did 
earlier this summer was how can we help the people in the organizations that we have that are using us and that we've built these relationships with and that's where motivational monday got birds in the way of hey we want one there to be like insight and excitement for your monday but two we want this to be something that's actually going to be lingering and leave a lasting effect on your life long after life guides has has had its role the next thing that we wanted to do was help people with their finances i feel like it is a topic that not many people talk about but we every single person has to do their finances right so we felt like that was a really solid way to give you all this like really sturdy foundation within yourself because once our money is right a lot of things start to get right and then beyond that we also wanted to create a space where we could tell you guys more about our guides and what life guides is and what these resources are that we have for you. So a lot of people love our guides and love having that one-on-one -on -one intimate connection with someone to help them and support them and to build a relationship because at the end of the day, we're a social species. We were never meant to be alone. One of my favorite statistics that I love about loneliness is that you're 40% more likely to die from loneliness than you are from smoking a pack of cigarettes every day. And that's where Life Guides comes in. A lot of us have this like really like I can do it all and I can take care of everything attitude, which we usually can, but like you don't have to all of the time. So the reason why we talked about the habit loop on this call for our first call is because we want you to develop the habit of looking to life guides for support. And we want you to develop a habit of looking to Monday as this really cool place where you get to come and drop in and receive wisdom, go about your day and have things like gear starting to change in your mind and where you get to watch yourself develop and evolve into the best version of yourself that you could ever imagine. And the one reminder that I'll give you is that you are enough you as a whole with everything that you're doing. If you woke up and just decided to breathe today, you are enough. If you woke up and you decided to save the world today, you are enough. But there's never anything that you have to do and there's never anything that you have to become to be enough. You are your best right here and right now. And it is an absolute pleasure to be in this space with you. I'm getting like emotional. Um, but thank you all. The registration link for Wednesday's event is there. I'm going to be co-hosting it. So you'll get my face and my voice once again. The way that the recordings work is the this way. We send out an, an email every morning, 6.30 Pacific time, 9.30 Eastern time, I'm pretty sure. I've been out of power for like nine days. So if if the, that time is wrong for the email, then it is what it is. But it does get sent every mor Monday morning. So this week, you didn't have a recording because it's the first week. But next Monday, you'll have this week's recording and the links for the future motivational Mondays as well. So it's been a pleasure and a joy. You will have a survey that pops up right after this. If, if this, if, the, if you just want to like put cute little comments in, do it. But also, if you're like, I would love to hear this woman talk about this. I want to know. Okay. Well, that's it. Have a beautiful day. I hope your Monday is better than it has ever been before. And I will see you hopefully on Wednesday. But if I don't see you on Wednesday, I will be seeing you next Monday. Again, remember the habit loop. The more that you show up to Motivational Monday, the more that you see that email and you register, the more of your own growth and development and the best version of yourself gets to come out and play. Thank you, everyone. Have a beautiful day and we will see you soon. Bye.